In today's episode, you're going to get to see a beautiful 1968 Mustang GT. Hello everybody, welcome to Classic Car Chit Chat. My name is Kevin. If this is the first time you're coming to my channel, then welcome. I really appreciate you being here today. If you've been to my channel before, then as always, welcome back. Thank you so much for the thumbs up, for you, for the comments that you leave for me, for you subscribing to my channel, as well as hitting that notification bell so you know when the next video is available. Today you're going to meet a gentleman, his name is Paul, he's got an absolutely gorgeous 1968 Mustang GT Sprint A. It has this incredible lime green color and it's got the pinstriping, it's got GT emblems and badges and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So without further ado, let's hop in, let's go for a drive and let's check out this beautiful 1968 Mustang. <laughs> Jesus, Paul, hang on a second. Good Lord, man. That is loud. Okay, honk the horn. Okay. All right, turn her off. <laughs> man, that's something else. That is not stock, surely. No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you have here. Okay, Kevin, I've got a 1968 Mustang here. Uh, the color is called Lime Gold. That's what struck me to this car. It's like when I first saw it, it's like that really pulled me to it. Um, a lot of Mustangs are black, white, red, blue. Right. Uh, this one's a very unique color, and that's what really drew me to this car. Um, is this the original stock color, like the Mustang option that it came in? Yes, it is the color from that period. Uh, this was painted about 15, 20 years ago really? with the same color because yeah. um, this car was from Texas. So the paint faded over time. Um, and then when it, before it came up here, the guy stripped it right down to bare metal and repainted it with the same color. And the pinstriping and everything you see along the sides, that again would have been in the original car as well? Yep, so what they called this, from what I've researched, what they called this one is a 1968 Sprint A Mustang GT. Okay. So they put some different um, options on it where they put the pinstripes on it, they put the GT emblems on the rims there, right. uh, a few other GT um, badging to it. And uh, when you get inside, there's one unique piece on the center console in the roof. Okay. Uh, that's apparently a really uh, rare option. So when you go in there, you'll see it. The um, rims here are the original design of the rims on the Mustang? So I've got, I do have the original rims, right. uh, but they're the 14 inch rims. So they're okay. the smaller ones. Yeah. And I found a company in the States that makes the exact same ring. So I wanted a bigger rim. Okay. So I made sure I got the exact same rim uh, looking, uh, just in a bigger style. It's beautiful. Yeah, so I would say probably 80% of this car is original. Um, there literally is no rust on it. Um, the color is extraordinary. Yeah, and though. the color makes it pop, especially like when after you do a really nice shine yeah. to it, the thing just pops. Uh, and, and it does grab right, a lot of not, attention. It's not a color that you would normally see typically every day. No, that's right. It is a vintage color, but it looks just right. Yep. Wow. Yeah, so it, there a lot of people call it different colors. This one, uh, the original color, what it's called is it's called lime gold. So that GT badging that's there uh, the, on the gas cap, yeah. that's again, that's another GT option um, badging. Like the true GT had uh, a, a stiffer suspension, uh, a little other uh, drivability that makes it more performance wise. But when they did this, what they call a Sprint A, they just uh, put badges on it okay. to entice people to buy it. More, right. right? So that's the story on it. Uh, originally, it's from Fort Worth, Texas. And from what I understand is the person that owned it was uh, a judge from Texas. And he wow. only used it from driving from his house to the courthouse. And that's all he used it for. Incredible. And I've got, I think, just over 55,000 miles on it, original miles. How long have you owned it? I've had it for about 12 years now. Gorgeous. Yeah. 
And why the Mustang, Paul? Is this something that you've always wanted? I've always liked the Mustang as a kid, right? I mean, I'm, who doesn't, right? <laughs> I think I think every kid always loved the Mustangs, sure. right? Whether it's old or new, uh, it's just one of those cars, right? It's one of those cars. It's like that. That's a muscle car, right? I love also the uh, the chrome at the bottom there. Yeah. As well. So that's uh, I think that's again another GT option that they had back then. Um, but it, I mean, if you really want to catch the the one option um, that that center console up on the roof there. From what I understand, that's a, an extremely oh, rare see. option. Um, and I've never seen another Mustang with it. I don't think I've ever seen any other car with no, that, no. Uh, the ones that I've seen so far. Yeah. That's really something. Yeah. Wow. Now, what are the two buttons there? Uh, it's, not a, it's not a navigation system. Because <laughs> <laughs> it says map on there, it's actually Hang on a second. Yeah. Let me, uh, just, um, the angle got messed, a bit messed up. There we go. Yeah. So it's so funny. It's not, it's not a navigation thing. No. It's so it's funny when though, right? <laughs> when we got it, my my kids looked at it. It's like, oh, is that like the map system? It's like, no, it's just to turn the light on for the map. <laughs> yeah. And they probably looked at this thing. What yeah. the heck's this, Dad? Yeah, no, no power windows. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, it's a, it's an over fifty year fifty year old car. Um, but it's funny how you said, you know, what got in, got you into it. And like I said, always as a kid, and we went throughout high school, uh, all the different cars that we would see. Yeah. Um, this one here always drew to me. Uh, it's a 68. I was born in 68. So uh, when it was kind of like a 40th birthday. Good so when I turned 40, uh, I talked to my wife and I wanted, told her I want to get into like an old classic car. And she's, uh, she was keen on it. She says, yeah, go for it. Right. So you actually asked your wife's permission first. Of course you have to. Okay. Unlike me, I just went and bought the MG and I drove it home. So it looks sweet. Huh? Look what I got. Are you still married? <laughs> yeah, barely though. But that's that's, that's a different story. <laughs> no, but that's good though. Right. No, for sure. You know what? It, at the end of the day, it is a toy. Right. Sure. Um, so, yeah, of course. And the nice thing about this is the whole family gets to enjoy it. So, like I said, I've had it for about 12 years or so. Um, done tons of family uh, trips with it. Uh, car shows, a ton of car shows with, the, with them, with the kids and all that. Um, so, yeah, we get the whole family goes in here. We go for drives. Um, you enjoy it. Yeah, right? no, like we enjoy it, right? Um, and, that, and that was one of the reasons why I really wanted this is, is to be able to enjoy it. So. It's not only just for me, the whole family gets to use it. Now, the additional lights in the front there, Paul. Yep. Again, these were an option when the car was purchased. These are not add-ons or anything. No, that, that was an option at the time. Um, but you said that, I think that was part of one of the GT options as well, too. It's such a clean look, though. It you is. You know, the car is so straight. Yep. Like, everything about this thing. Yeah, the it's... The way it sits, it's just... No, for sure. Can we uh, pop the yep. hood and see the engine? Yeah. So I did, I, like I said, I did some modifications on it to just right. make it run better. Yeah. Um, but like oh I said, man. majority of it is still pretty stock. That's clean though. Yeah. I won't even show you my engine. <laughs> that cross member again, that was there always, or was that an add-on? Uh, so there was one there, right. uh, and it just had, it was a two-piece. Um, so I upgraded to one piece. Okay. And a little bit thicker one, so it makes the the front a little more solid. Right. Um, I put new valve covers on. Yeah. I put it, uh, an aluminum intake with a four valve carb, yeah. uh, a mild cam to it, and some headers and some uh, exhaust. So other than that, it's still stock. Uh, this is an original air conditioning unit. Does the AC still work on it? Uh, no. Yeah, okay. No, it. Uh, <laughs> we won't worry it, about it. It did. It's, it uh, did for a little bit when I first had it, yeah. and then uh, the I guess the compressor just cocked out on okay. it. So I just took the belt off, but I left it because it was it's original still, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, again, that's another option on it too. That the that the guy who bought it put it in at that time. And it's really such a a clean car. Like everything about this car just speaks. Yeah. And you've actually got the, here's the horns, right? There's yep, two of those them. Those are the two okay, horns. Okay, no yeah. wonder it sounds so loud. <laughs> So, yeah, so the exhaust a, system, you mentioned to me, you can either hear it louder or quieter. Yeah, so, so they're called exhaust cutouts. Then? Okay. Um, so when you want to wake up the neighbors, yeah. I push a button inside and it literally opens up the exhaust in the bottom, cuts out the muffler, cuts out everything, oh, so and it, it dumps right under here. So really? if you can so get, kind of avoid get under there and see it, right, right about there it should be. Oh, I see it. You yeah, see so it there? Yeah. Uh, the camera's not going to do it justice, <laughs> but I know what you're saying. Yeah. Hang on, let's do it. Let's do it by hand. Just a minute. Sometimes old school is better. <laughs> just a sec. There we go. So right there. Yep. 
So that manually switches it on and off. Yeah, so I've got the button on the inside and I, and I push it. If I push and hold it, it opens up wide open. Um, so that makes it extremely loud. And then if I, I want to just, it. if I want to close it, I just push the button and it closes it up and just sounds like a regular exhaust system. Incredible. Yeah. I'd heard about it. I'd never actually seen it. So now <laughs> I just learned something. So there you go. So good. All right, we're back up. So, right, where were we? Okay, yes. So we looked at the hood. <laughs> yeah. How much space is in the trunk? Uh, it isn't a lot. Um, It's still all original. I do have your typical car show uh, products in here, like your, your chair and stuff like that. Yeah. So, well, you got to sit somewhere, what, right? Yeah, so. That's kind of in here. But <laughs> yeah. if you, if you kind of look, you can see, see that? That's what they used to spray it at the factory. That was oh, like really? the rust proofing factory. Yes, you know, I remember right? seeing that before. Yeah. It's so, like that really thick coating. Yep, yeah, it's like tar. Yeah. And it, it literally is tar. I saw videos of the way they did it. It's literally a, a bucket of tar and a brush and the, Guy would just go so around. They and just do it do here it. and on the underside as um, well, originally. I can't remember if they did it underneath. Okay. Because uh, I don't really have that underneath, so I don't think they did it then. Right. But I think they did it like in in the trunk in the, space yeah. under the seats and that. Wow. Uh, and if you see a lot of other cars, a lot of guys, what they do is when they restore them, they get rid of that. Okay. Right. So that's why, like, this is you know, it's all still original. I mean, I still got even the original carpeting in here too. I like it. Then, yeah, that right? that tartan kind of finish. Yep. Very yeah. cool. So again, you know, it's all, it's all Th original under here. There's something really special, I always think, in the tail lights yep. of a Mustang. You know what? It's even a, it's even a the newer look. ones, yep. I think they've done a good job kind of with that retro kind of look to it. It is. But it's I the classic look, right? Yeah. That's what they've carried around uh, throughout all the years and all For the brands. Sure. Even the new electric Mustang has the same look. Yeah, the but same you know what makes it a little bit special too is that each one of these is chromed separately. Yeah. I mean, they could have put a one big ass thing oh, yeah. in there, but they didn't. They yeah. did it this way, which makes a lot more sense. And it's funny with the uh, the license plate there. Right. Um, so when I first got it, we were trying to think of, you know, I'd like to get license, personalized plates. What, what can we get? What can we get? And I remember with the family sitting there at Swiss LA and we were just coming up with different ideas. And my daughter's like, oh, why don't we call it Mint 60 AGT? Because it looks like mint ice cream. Yes, and it's in right? mint condition. Yep. So it's like, okay, perfect. I love that name. That's perfect. So that's what we tagged it with. Thank God for Swiss Chalet. Yeah. <laughs> so that was that was great. That the name suits it perfectly. It does so indeed. Definitely a, a fun th fun pick for it. For the, sure. the thing that I always get excited about, and it's my personal thing, and it's any car, mm -hmm. is when you kind of look along the side, and you see the lines of the car. I don't know. To me, it's kind of just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Not every car can pull this off. Yours does, and it just looks right yeah yeah no for sure it's just the way it kind of that's the thing you got to look at when you're looking at old cars um they might look great uh, in photos but when you actually see it and if you can look down down the down the car and you don't see waves yeah. you know the car is straight and sure. hasn't been touched yeah and just the way the kind of edge or the seam kind of just continues on yeah. it's just gorgeous and even the drip rails too uh they don't do this anymore Oh, that's right too. Right. So, that's, so at least you don't get rain. You don't on get your the head. rain when you open the window. Mind you, I don't think you'd probably want to take it too much out in the wa uh, wet weather, do you? No, not you no, no not at all. Out. Not now, anyway. But uh, back in the day, they they would drive sure. this every day, right? Yeah. Even in the snow, rain, winter, whatever it was. Even the, uh, they uh, would drive it. The side mirrors and that. Look at that. Yeah. So what's funny is this was an option to add to. On came with both came sides? with came oh, with the okay. driver one. But okay, the, passenger this one's the next option. Extra option. You had to pay for that. Wow. Yeah, and I can show you, I've got the actual original uh, ownership too. Do you? Of the, wow. the guy who had it before. I love this. And I love the detail. Yeah. Very cool. May I see inside? Mm hmm Do you want to go with drivers or? That way. What are these, by the way? Uh, so this is what was on there when I got it. Okay. I don't know, this is what he had at that time. So it's not so I just a show you it. had gone to or anything? No, no, okay. it's one that he had before. I guess it was something that he used to do back at, back yeah. in the day, I don't know. Awesome. And then uh, this is the Golden Horseshoe Association. Okay. That's so it's a Mustang Woods. Association. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's a Very club. Cool. Uh, a lot of the Mustang guys get together with this club. Right. Very and nice. uh, that's the inside part. So like I said, I've had this for just over Beautiful. 12 years or so. Um, and, and the yeah, interior a, is the original part? From what I understand, uh, the the two front seats have been changed because of uh, being in Texas and, and yeah, the, the sun heat, damaging yeah. it. Uh, the doors, skins are still original. Wow. Uh, and I... Th Whoa, look. 
yep. I didn't even spot that. So and you've I, got adjustable uh, yep. side uh, mirrors for that too. Yeah, that's right. Wow. And Sorry, then the uh, the dash there, that's been changed as well too. Okay. And the steering wheel? Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, the steering wheel as well, too. Yeah. yeah. The this original is, steering this wheel. It's kind of like mine, actually. I'll yeah. show you. Well, the original steering wheel was really big. Yeah. Um, and it had a big centerpiece in the middle, so it was kind of hard to drive with it. Yeah. Uh, but when I, when I did get the car, it came with that steering wheel. I added the RPM on it. Right. But other than that, that whole front is, is original. I added the armrest piece. So this, this part you added. But the other console part in green, that was always yep. there, so right? So that console right there in the center where the gear shift is and, and uh, the what little What is that little lever? Area. Yeah, what is it's, that? You want, it's Do you want to go on yeah. the other side? And let's, let's have a look at this. It's funny, my kids used to call it the garage. <laughs> but it's actually just another storage area, right? Oh, I love it. You just keep your stuff in there. So you added the cup holders because obviously we're yeah. Canadian so all and this, we can't do it otherwise. All this is original. Oh, I see. All this one piece. Or you can see the the way it's worn oh, out too, yeah. right? So this is all original. What are these little uh, slots there for? So this is for the seatbelts. No way. So you just put so it in So it's there. nice and tidy. Yep. How cool is that? Yeah. And of course, we got the ashtray yep. and the uh, the lighters in there too. Not in this one. Lighter uh -huh. is... Oh, of course. Uh, up right there. there. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Now the stereo is not the original. Uh, it's not the original. It's out of a 71 Mach 1. Yeah, but the nice thing with this is it doesn't it doesn't affect your the original. You just slide it on top. Is this custom made? This one? Yeah. It's made for this Mustang. Okay. Um, and then you know you got storage here. For sure. You got cup holders yeah. here. So, and the armrest, like the armrest, especially with these cars, you're you it's good to have. But definitely, definitely. And then you got your your da your um, glove boxes in here. Right. And these are all my documents. Oh, the original documents. Yeah. When so. You bought the car. This is all the documents when I bought the car. Any any work I've done for the car, I just put it all in here. Good for you. But this is the original owner's manual. So would you say you're the second owner of the car? I'm the third. Third owner. Yeah. Okay. And then you can look here. Oh wow. And they oh, use a typewriter back then. Isn't that yes? Right? <laughs> so he's that the original so owner. Cool. So that was that's what's uh, you know, and that they just talk you, about definitely the whole car, right? Yeah. Which is neat. So that, I thought that was kind of neat. Special. Yeah, yeah. So I also noticed, by the way, you've got that additional gauge at the bottom. So you you would have added that. Uh, yes, uh, that's uh, that's added gauge. Yeah. Uh, and then the RPM is an added gauge. And then the control beside it was the original fog lamp uh, yep. on/off switch. That right? is original. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other one is original as well too. The light. Beautiful. Yeah. And I see the AC kind of buttons right there too. Yep. That's kind of. Yeah. When it when it worked, uh, it was is okay. Uh, but it was not like the AC I have today. Not, it was okay. It's okay. But it, that's why I'm, I don't drive it enough to justify putting Definitely. in a whole new AC unit. So. You know what I what I also notice is you're in the rear. You've got the wind down for the uh, for the windows there too. Yep. How so these are here that? too, right? Beautiful. And uh, gorgeous machine. What's nice too is you can see on that side too is they even have. Uh, these yes. side vents so you just lift that up yeah that, that's air conditioning i think <laughs> that's that's what they used to call it Absolutely. so you would angle it this way and then depending on where you're angling it it blows the i actually in. like that i yeah. think it's such a cool look to it like i have the same thing on the mg and it's like you know what yeah it's nice it's cool i, I don't use it much and Maybe the reason not. i don't I like to be close, but yeah <laughs> the reason i don't is if if a rock hits or something and yeah. it breaks it's a really expensive yeah. piece mine to actually did my other side actually did break right i just leave them closed now and it's uh such a hassle to try and get fixed. Yep, no, for sure. It's beautiful. Could we take it for a drive? Absolutely. The person that bought this added it, added to it. So there's the button right here. I hope you can see it. Yep. And then, so it's open right now. Yeah. May I close it? Oh, yeah. See? What a difference, yeah. right? Okay. So I usually just keep it open just a quarter so you can just hear it just well, a little bit Well, you have little amounts you can adjust yeah. it to. So right okay. now it's just set up at a quarter. A little open. bit. So a little yeah. bit of a rumble. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're going to head back. Oh, watch out behind you. Okay. We're going to head back out the same way you came. Yeah, okay. Oh, she sounds lovely, Paul. It is, yeah. Definitely gets a lot of attention. Turn left here, and at the end of the road, we'll turn right. Okay. 
uh, and we'll go straight up Main Street. You know what's really interesting? I mean, I've been lucky enough to sit in so many cars now, and you get to appreciate the engine sounds. Oh, and each sure. one has a slightly different note, yep. and you can really sense it. And there's this, I don't know how to describe it. There's enough power in the, the noise, but there's a softness to it too, like it's subtle. You can, yeah, so that's it's right. beautiful. It is. And the brakes are pretty darn good too, well, right? They're drum brakes, so sometimes you have to use both hands to, or both feet to, uh, All right. to stop it. But you just uh, got to plan ahead, right? You so. do. You have to. It's an old car. Yeah. Uh, there are things on it that you just got to be finesse with, and you got to yeah. be careful with it. For sure. So you got to keep your distance. Right. Always keep your eyes around for other cars around you, and plan ahead. Like if I know this car, this light's gonna change. I plan that I'm gonna stop because I know I'm gonna have to stop. You know, I'm the same way, like when I drive, it's like, I kind of assume you're almost invisible, like a motorcycle, yes. and you have to drive defensively because, for sure, you know, I, I, I don't want my car getting hurt, I mean, I, I can maybe manage with the odd injury or two, but my car, that would hurt me more. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, you just drive it nice, I mean, like I said, it, it is a 50-year-old car, Yeah. Uh, over 50 years, so there are things you got to just be careful with, yeah, right? Absolutely. Um, you always got to just tinker with it here and there. But knock on wood, I haven't had any major issues with it. I haven't had to do any major uh, changes to it. So, do you, do you do some of the work yourself or do you take it to a mechanic? I do some of it myself, uh, some of the minor things. Right. But uh, the main parts, I've uh, started taking it to um, legendary motor cars. Where are they? So they're in Milton. Okay. Uh, they're a great shop, extremely clean. Uh, the shop is almost like a, a lab. It's so clean. Really? And uh, very professional. They know exactly what they're doing. They know how to deal with cars like this. So I'll take it to them for just kind of like regular maintenance. Yeah. And if I did ever have a major issue, um, maybe those guys that I would take it okay. to. Okay. Do they work on English cars as well? I believe they do. Okay. Yeah, I believe they do. But they work on all old cars. Yeah. So that's what their specialty is. It's a great shop. She rides so well. Like it's just yeah. a fun, fun car to, and yeah. it gets people's attention for sure. Oh, well, Even for sure. without the loud exhaust going on, oh, it just, for sure. it looks the part. It definitely gets a lot of people's attention. Definitely. So what was the first car you ever bought, Paul? First car, car I ever had? Yeah. Uh, I had a 1984 Trans Am. Oh, so that was my right. first car. <laughs> we were just talking, same yeah. as mine, right? And my in, uh, in black. Uh, no, mine was red. Red, red okay. with t tops on it. Okay, yep. And uh, my dad had um, it was a 74 Lincoln Continental. Oh yes. A really, really big car. With the um, big wheel at the back of yeah. it. Uh, yeah. No, it didn't have the big wheel. It, it did? was just uh, okay. a big, big car. All right. And that's, I got my driver's license in that car. So that was pretty funny. <laughs> that's priceless. But yeah, that was my first car. And then uh, we got into like, you know, got older, got married, yep. got kids, did the minivan thing. Of course, yes. Um, and then that's when I started wanting to get back into, you know, some fun times, right? Yeah. And that's why I, we picked this classic car. For sure. And the thing is too, I mean, let's be honest, uh, COVID has taught us something that life is short. Yes, we absolutely. might as well kind of make the most of it, enjoy it while we can. You can yep. turn right to uh, Water Street. Yeah, no, life is, is definitely short. And uh, if you can do it, you know, try to get into it. And the nice thing is with uh, with these cars, the Mustang Coupes, they're not as overly priced as some other cars. Like yeah. the Mustang Fastback, it's a lot more expensive, more desirable, more right. people want that one, right? Where if you want to get into this hobby, getting yeah. into... So this type of Mustang, yeah. if you like the Mustang, is it's reasonable. It it's is not reasonable. crazy priced. For sure. And uh, and you can still enjoy them, right? Some of those higher end cars, you, you don't even want to drive them if you're no, afraid you'll get a scratch or so true. a ding or something, right? Yep. No, you know, it gives you a lot of pleasure. It's designed to be driven with elegance. Yep. Like you, it's such a cool car. It gets a lot of attention. You enjoy driving. It makes you smile. Oh, for sure. And you know what, truthfully, it's 
it's a way to relieve stress in some ways. You get in your car, you kind of forget your troubles for a while and just go for a little drive. It is. I've, I've done that many times where you know, I'll just come home and, and jump in the car and go for even a half an hour drive. Yeah. Uh, it just it just clear your head. You don't think of anything. Sure. Um, you really have to pay attention when you're driving these cars, so you're really focused. Yeah. Uh, because it, it can get away from you it, if it you can. don't care, if you're not careful with it. There's no ABS. There's no airbags. There's not, none of that, right? For sure. So For sure. you really have to pay attention to drive. If you look at the steering wheel, there's a lot of play to it. Yeah. Yep. So you're always having to to keep the center. That's so. right. These are these are the great best days to get out and drive. Yeah. Right? Perfect weather. Perfect weather. And you know we've been kinda lucky. September's here, but we're so far so good. I yep. know it's supposed to get a little bit strange next week, so I'm glad we were able to meet today. Oh least. it's awesome. Yeah, I know it's great. Oh wow. I just love the sound of the engine. It is, eh? Paul, it's just <laughs> lovely, yeah. <laughs> Like I said, when you want to open it up a bit, and just tap on that. Wow, what a difference. And then... I like that too, though. Okay. So when you want to make some noise, you just open it up. Show the kids at the uh, the stop sign, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which way do you go? No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, left here. Heck, if you can't enjoy it, right? What's the point? Yeah, that's the thing, right? I don't have a, like I don't really don't have a, like a lot of other hobbies where like, golfing and all that. Like yeah. I, I enjoy this car. I go out with the kids, go out with the family. Um, my kids are now and both are in university, awesome. so they don't come out as much with, with me. Yeah. Um, but they they do come out when they can. And they appreciate the car. I mean, I yeah. I got my car. I have two boys. And you know what, hopefully one day when I'm not around, at least they can keep the car and keep it going and hopefully enjoy it just like I have. So. Yeah, no, for sure. And especially when, like, when I got it, the kids were so young, they kind of grew up with this, the yeah. car, the old cars. Nice. And the, the group we would hang out with and uh, they appreciate all the old cars. They know cars. Definitely. Right? They know what car is what. Yeah. And uh, even the, the, on the car shows, they play the old music. Right on. And they know the old music. They yeah. uh, they're familiar with all that music, so well, it's uh, it's fun. I uh, I wouldn't trade the memories. I bet. Awesome. So Paul, listen. I really want to thank you. I appreciate your time today. I know it was short notice, but I'm glad we made it work. The weather turned out to be perfect after all. Yeah, no, it was great and weather. Thank you. You know, I really enjoyed getting to a sense of what this car is all about, and certainly for you to. To show your love and your passion for your car too. Oh, it's awesome. She sounds beautiful. Yeah. She drives beautifully, and uh, you know it's it's something that you can tell. This is your baby, and you take care of her. Absolutely. Good for you. No, for sure. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me out here. Oh my pleasure. It's always a pleasure to, to chit chat about okay. cars. <laughs> Did so. you do a little plug in for my a channel? Little plug in. Little chit chat. So chit chat. Watch it. It's I on there. We're on that. there. Classic so. car chit chat. Yes, exactly. Go. Thank you, Paul. Thank you.